Hey there, my name's Chris Palmer. In today's advanced schema markup made easy video, what I want to share with you is a way that you can go and find schema markup from your top competitors and start utilizing it. Two, what I want to share with you is how once you've created these templates that took you time and effort, maybe even money, I want to show you how you can hide this from your non-technical competition. And last but not least, I'll share with you a trick, a hack, a technique that was shown to me by Clint Butler regarding a way to actually then go and decode hidden inline json ld so of course i don't want to waste any time stick with me till the end i'll show you a nice little hack that you can start implementing for a little boost on your site let's get directly into the information so the very first thing because again schema markup could be used for any niche any industry affiliate blah 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 but mostly if you're a business owner and you want an easy fast way of course you can go get a plugin but say you find a site that's using some very technical schema this is how you can take that technical schema and start implementing it very easy. I'll walk you through the process now. So the very first thing is you're going to say you want to rank for New York uh, Plumbing. New York Plumber. All right. Say you want to rank for New York Plumber. You go to the top performing website. You go onto their website inside of a Chrome browser. I'm using a Chrome browser. You're then going to right click on any of the pages that you want to analyze the code, the JSON LD. You're going to go to view page source. Once you're taking a look at the view page source, you'll go in the top left and go to the line wrap. Once you have wrapped the code so it's easier to take a look at, you'll hit control F. Once you hit control F, that's control fine. We are looking for the schema. Now, depending on what they're using, it's going to be highlighted. So you're always looking for where it says script. So all you have to do is take the script. So they're using and maybe potentially being bogged down by a plugin. In this case, they're using all-in-one SEO plugin. But all we need is their schema script in order to implement it on our websites. Schema code goes into the head of your website. That's a simple search. How to add schema to the head of my website, whether it's WordPress, an HTML site, a Duda site, whatever it is, it goes into the head, all right, in most cases. Now, with that being said, that's how you find and take, could, this is easy schema to implement, but what if it was more technical? You could still go out and find it, copy paste it, change the data out, the data points, and start utilizing it on your website. Now, let's take this technical advanced S, uh, schema markup guide, let's take it a step further. Let's say you go through the trouble of creating a very technical schema markup, much like this, all right? I shared this schema template that I created. I sat and wrote the whole entire thing. Took me quite a bit of time. You know, there's multiple types of schema here. Everything from the website down into facts, hours of operation, the payment, the maps, everything, disambiguation. On and on, it took a lot of time. This particular uh, model or, or template is a stripped down version. But with that said, this took a lot of time to implement. So let's say, for instance, that you want to hide this from people doing the uh, schema markup made easy method of just going and finding someone else's, copy pasting, and then making it different. Let's say you want to hide this. So the next way that you can go ahead and minify make this inline code, make it smaller, make it essentially run faster, but more so hide it from your competition. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do that now. So we're just going to utilize this top script here. All right. Just so you can get a feel for how this works. Now, it doesn't matter the tool. For this particular instance, I will be using the web toolkit online. And if you stick with me till the very last tip, I'll share with you a tip that Clint showed me that you can take schema from anywhere, whether it's inline or not, from some of the top performing websites and then be able to actually print it out so you can start utilizing that schema as well. Stick with me till the end. But in any case, you take this code, all right? So you'll hit the control V. So this is just a script. So we don't need the script type, but see this funny little bracket that's right here? That stays there. You take, you get rid of this. Okay, you don't need where it says script. Okay, you just need those lines. So that doesn't need to be there. So this is the JSON LD. This is the schema markup. So in order to hide it, 
or minify it to make it inline, to make it harder for your competitors to go out there and just copy and paste and start utilizing, right? It just makes it more difficult. You'll take it to a tool like this, JSON Minifier, will minify it, and what it'll then do is make it one inline string, which makes it a lot harder to decode or dissect, especially for less technically savvy people, right? So this is a great way to not only make the code more condensed and technically overall looking at it run faster because it's in the head, it's just one line, but also for people that are less technically savvy, it's going to be a lot harder for them to di digest. So would you rather would you rather go through the trouble of just dissecting this or you have an entire code of where you come to the page, right? And it's just this. It's one giant line that looks like this. Here, take a look. So minify, control C, we come to a page. Like you'd have to sit there, add all the spaces. It's just one giant, it does this because of word wrap, but, or it would just be one giant line like this on your website. It doesn't do it in the text format, but look at this. It would just be one straight line. Now, let me go ahead and share with you a tricky way, all right, to go ahead and decode this. More so what I'm going to share with you is a top SEO, right? So say you want to start using the code from a top SEO. So a top SEO at least, or a top marketer would be Neil Patel, right? So if you go to Neil Patel's website, all right, so let's take a look at Neil Patel. Neil Patel, of course, is using minified or a little bit more advanced schema markup on his website, right? So we'll take a look at his website and let's take a look at how Neil's doing things here. Okay, so we'll go to his SEO tools page. We're going to right click on the page the same way. The advanced schema markup made easy method. We're going to right click on the page. We're going to go to view page source. We're going to go to the line wrap. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit control F and we're going to type in schema just like we did on the last page. Now, as you can see here, all right, just like this, if I didn't do line wrap, I did the line wrap. But as you can see here, you can tell that uh our good friend neil patel here is actually minifying the code now if you come down uh again or onto any of his other pages okay let's go back one let's just say we do it on this page all right we're looking at this page control f we're going to do schema okay and again he's just doing one line of code now he's actually implementing this schema it's not custom which is quite interesting i i thought maybe it would be but he's using one line. He's using one inline minified code. So in order, what you can do is if you come across websites that look like they have a lot of schema, but it's all in one line and it's minified like I just showed you beforehand. All right. What Clint showed me was pretty cool. If you go to a site like this called JSON Pretty Print, okay, and you take the inline code. So let's just take this inline code. We're going to go to copy. Okay, so it's minified, right? So we'll copy the minified code where everything's gone and it's condensed. We'll go to a JSON pretty print. See, I knew about the minification, but Clint showed me, hey, did you know that you could descramble it or, or pretty print it? I, I didn't know that step. I knew how to hide it and condense it and make it inline to make it run faster, but I didn't know the next step. Like, oh, hey, you can unscramble it real easy. Like, so Clint, thank you for this little hack. I thought this was really cool because I have came across websites like much like you, I'm sure you have, where it's like you see these long strings and you're like, hmm, how are they? Well, here's a way that you could go ahead and take this minified code where it's one line and then literally make it back normal again. See how it takes this? This was just one line, remember? I pasted it in here and then it pretty prints it. It makes it, it beautifies it. So I just want to recap exactly what we learned today. First and foremost, I showed you how to go to any website. Doesn't matter the website. If they're using schema markup based on the source code, we could right click, find the schema, copy paste it, and then change it for our own needs. Now, if you run across, if you run across maybe a co competitive niche where you want to hide the schema markup, say you have a really big template that you made, much like mine here right? Where you put a lot of work into it. You don't want people just coming to the page, copying it and reusing it. What you can do is you can come to a tool much like this, the web toolkit online, and you can minify it. All right. But you have to minify it section by section. Remember, 
you have to take out the the thing where it says application json ld it's just the code you can minify okay so once that's done let's say you are looking for advanced schema markup say from a site like uh uber suggest or neil patel site or anybody that use minified code somebody that's more advanced and you want to see exactly what they're doing in a nicer way you grab the code and you come to a tool like json pretty print and you can literally put in one line of inline code and it will print it right out for you just like this so you can see exactly you can see that it's content the type the url potential action the type the target the query input instead of just a giant mess like this where you're trying to decipher where the commas and the periods and the colons it gets crazy but in any case i hope these three tips have helped you like they've helped me my name's chris palmer if you have any other questions related to schema markup advanced schema markup seo local seo ads anything Feel free, go ahead, ask in the section below, and I always look forward to seeing you in the next Advanced Schema Markup SEO Made Easy video. I'll see you in the next Schema Markup video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.